Hello, my name is Lisa Fagan Davis, and I'm the executive director of the Medieval Academy of America. I'm also a medievalist, paleographer, codicologist, fragmentologist, and digital humanist. And my lightning talk is Triple I F Fragmentology and the Digital Remediation of 20th Century Biblioclasm on the topic, of course, of this year's uh, symposium, loss. So when I talk about uh, biblioclasm, what I mean is the deliberate destruction of books. And if you have uh, heard me talk about this before, this gentleman uh, will not be a stranger to you. You will recognize him, I should think, as Otto Frederick Eggie. Now, he was not the only person to break up books in the early 20th century, certainly not the only person. He was not the first, he was not the last, but his uh, reputation as a biblioclast which he was self-proclaimed, he called himself that, uh, is such that he had a huge impact on the corpus of single leaves in North America. So that's why I'm focusing on him here. So what Eggie did was he um, was a uh, professor in Cleveland, he was a book dealer, and he is known for having destroyed several hundred medieval manuscripts and early printed books in the early part of the 20th century. He died in 1951. And he um, was made a lot of money doing this, but he also thought he was doing uh, the world a favor, believe it or not, by distributing these books in a way that he thought was more equitable, that everyone could get a little piece of the Middle Ages. Uh, obviously he was misguided, breaking up books to sell off page by page, let's just get that out there, that's a bad thing. We don't want to encourage it. However, in the case of the Eggy material, this was done almost 100 years ago. We can't um, physically remediate this uh, loss of material. However, we can digitally remediate this destruction uh, using something known as the International Image Interoperability Framework, or IIIF. IIIF is a way of sharing images in an open access environment that requires only a URL. You don't download and upload. You don't have to rekey the data because the image has embedded in the code, the IIIF code under, that underlies the image includes all the metadata. So that metadata travels with the image. So I'm going to show you a few examples of how that works. So this is uh, Mirador. This is the Mirador demo site where you can kind of play around in the sandbox. Um, Mirador is what's called a shared canvas viewer. And that is a, a viewer that's intentionally set up to take advantage of IIIF functionality as follows. So here we are at Stony Brook University which owns a set of leaves put together and sold by Eggy, uh, called 50 Original Leaves from Medieval Manuscripts. This is the Beauvais Missal, uh, which is a manuscript that I have been um, working on for uh, several years now. And so if you scroll all the way down here until you find what's called the Triple IIIF Manifest and the link, all you have to do is copy that link address we can go over here. We're going to add a resource down here at the bottom, do that, and then there it is. It has now magically, not magic, by science, appeared in the viewer. So let's, um, let's actually say goodbye to Vincent. So now we've got this image, but it's not just the image. If you look here, you'll see all of this data that has traveled with the image because it's part of the code that underlies the image itself. So let's do one more. Uh, here is the leaf belonging to the University of Minnesota. And again, if we scroll down in the record until we find the IIIF link, we can copy the link address, go back here. Uh, we'll uh, add another one, add a resource and boom, there it is. And when we click add, there it is. So now we've got two in a row. So we can uh, close this window. And so I hope you can see already the power of this. So here again, from the University of Minnesota, all this data has traveled with the image. It's very exciting. And so this, uh, using this technology allows you to really easily start comparing things, move things, rearrange them, put them in order without having to download and upload. 
and without having to rekey the metadata. And fortunately for all of us, this resource fragmentarium specially designed to take advantage of IIIF functionality to allow for cataloging and digital reconstruction of fragmentary, fragmented manuscripts. So check it out at fragmentarium.ms and take a look at IIIF.io to see how uh, IIIF can help you do your work. If you have questions or you're curious about how to do this, tweet at me, I'm at Lisa F. Davis. Uh, I'm always happy to talk about IIIF. Thank you.